Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten into the Sith Academy. We are infiltrating, pretending to be a Sith, uh, Sith student, rather. Sith student, boy, they. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> but, now that we're in... And Karth and Jihani are labeled as my, um, not buddies per se, uh, just so they can come in with me, we are good for the time being. So now we just gotta, oh, didn't think my room would be next to Yathura Ban, but here we are. Ah, oh, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Your favorite? Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. Really? As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Well, that does sound... delightful. Possibly. That scream in the background kind of wasn't uh, <laughs> delightful. Absolutely. Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. Well, I've done As that I my said, whole career. You're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Of Once course. Once that occurs, mm -hmm. he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. Mm. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to... Shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? Okay. I see what you're putting down. I understand the setup for the plan that you are making. And I like it. Mainly because it advances my main goal of destroying the Sith. One way or another. So... Uh, why is my only option asking about how important the tomb is? Does that really matter <laughs> in the grand scheme of things? But okay. All right. What's so important about this tomb? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Oh. Darth Malak went there? Very interesting, isn't it, Master? Reaching that map as mm -hmm. they did is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Mm-hmm. And what's your part in this? My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy mm. Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. That is true. It is very simple. But I don't want to be at your side. So, that's a problem in and of itself. However, uh, how do I know this isn't some test? <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. Okay, what's to stop me from telling him? I suppose you could do that. Even the hint of betrayal from his pupil and Uthar would move to eliminate me. Mm -hmm. But this is a very good opportunity for you. You can start off your Sith career as the right hand of the head of the Academy. Me, Uthar will not offer you that. Do you believe Uthar would not be aware of this? He would quickly figure out what you have to gain by betraying him, and would never believe someone would pass that up. Tell Master Uthar what you wish. Were I you, I would think first of what the consequences of such an action might be. Hmm... Very, very simple. 
It's my best chance of getting further along with the whole Sith Academy infiltration thing. Allows me to eliminate the leader. And then it's just a simple matter of eliminating her after I'm done with that. And then the Sith Academy is no more. Interesting. <laughs> Very well, I agree. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Mm. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. Oh, I won't. Can you tell me about the Code of the Sith? I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. I already know Through this Through passion, personally. I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The, the force, force shall, shall set free. me free. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? Easily misunderstood, you say? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That's pretty straightforward. Especially for a former Sith. But, peace is a lie. There is only passion. The Jedi would have you believe that peace is a desirable goal. That peace of the spirit is the way the Force is mastered. That a lack of conflict betters man. Mm -hmm. We know different. It is our passion, our hate, and our desire that fuels the Force. It is conflict that improves the lot of civilization and single being both. Conflict forces one to better oneself. It forces change, growth, adaption, evolution, or death. These are not our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. Through passion, I gain strength. What fuels your power with the Force but your passion? The stronger, darker emotions. Anger, hatred, fear. These passions empower us. What about love? Love is more dangerous than all those things. Love leads to anger and hatred more often than not. But it also leads to mercy, which is far worse. That, however, is a lesson for another time. Those do seem like awfully negative passions. Negative? Compared to what? What keeps even the most rudimentary creature alive? Fear to run. Anger to fight. Without it, a creature would most surely die. Are you saying we aren't anything more than rudimentary creatures? We are far more than them, perhaps. But in some ways, we are little different. To think us creatures beyond the need of simple passions is a delusion. The Jedi say the opposite. How can both be right? The Force gives us all power, even the Jedi. It is our mastery of our passion that gives us the strength they lack. I see. It is our goal to be stronger, to achieve our potential and not rest upon our laurels. We are the seekers, not the shepherds. Through power I gain victory. How many sorts of victories can you imagine? Peaceful victory, victory by sacrifice, a truce. An achievement. Unless the victory is achieved by demonstrating that your power is superior, it is only an illusion, temporary at best. We seek more. Through strength I gain power. The stronger you become in the Force, the more power you will achieve. But always must you fight for your power. Without strife, your victory has no meaning. Without strife, you do not advance. Without strife, there is only stagnation. Through victory, my chains are broken. This has been argued over, and often. The chains represent our restrictions, both those placed upon us and those we place upon ourselves. Ultimately, the goal of any Sith is to free herself from such restrictions. In a way, it is so we may do whatever we wish, but it is much more than that. One who has freed themselves from all restrictions has reached perfection. Their potential fulfilled. Perfect strength, perfect power, perfect destiny. Imagine it. That is our ideal at any rate. It is said in Sith legend that the Sithari, the perfect being, will one day lead us. But perhaps that is just a legend. 
You don't think the Suthari exist? I wonder what that being would be like. The legends say the Suthari will destroy us and make us stronger than ever. But perhaps that is just a legend. Perfection is a goal, I think, rather than a state of being. The Jedi would argue that, no doubt. The Force shall free me. The Force is our servant and our master, our teacher and our companion, a weapon and a tool. Know it, and you know the universe. Master it, and you master the universe. Strive for perfection, and the Force shall reward you. A weapon and a tool, you said. Well, you could have simplified that further. A tool... A weapon is a tool in and of itself. A tool has utility. A weapon, its main and usually only utility is towards death. But however, that does not make it any less of a tool in and of itself. I'm getting a little too into this. Um, <laughs> hmm. Ah, oh boy. Uh, kids, I feel myself slipping back to the old ways. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. I think I got it. I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to know more about those ruins on the surface. I have been involved in the work there over the last couple of years, but not often. Mm. Most of the excavating is left to the students. What did you Fair wish enough. to know? Is... Why are Sith... Yeah, I, I want to go with the second one. Why are Sith so interested in these ruins? We could learn much about the history of the ancient Sith. Why they were on Korriban and why they left. Perhaps we could learn more about the origin of the Force itself. With that knowledge could come great power. Mm -hmm. Is there any other way into the tomb of Naga Sadao? Not unless you are accompanied by Master Uthar. No, it is strictly forbidden. And I truly doubt you could bypass the doors to the tomb with anything less than ship blasters. Even then, perhaps. There's no other way inside? None. I do not even know how Master Uthar gains entrance to tell the truth. Though I look forward to discovering that fact. I have searched many times, so do not bother. There is no other way. Do not fret, however. Simply get the prestige you need, and you will see the tomb soon enough. Hmm. Interesting. I've heard enough As of that. Uh, do you know anything about Darth Revan? Clearly not, because she doesn't recognize me. Revan? You mean Darth Malak's former master? That's the one. Very little. I never met him personally, Clearly. though I heard he was a very powerful man. Very charismatic. Oh, yeah. In the end, Revan was outshone by his pupil. Such is the way of the Sith. Why? Is this dead man of importance to you? Do you think it's possible Revan might be alive? Anything is possible. Uthar's former master still lives, though he is in no condition to challenge his former pupil for leadership. Perhaps the same is true for Revan. Perhaps Revan is out there, somewhere waiting to take revenge upon Malak. More likely, what we were told is the truth. Revan is dead. Malak would be foolish to leave his old master alive, considering all the knowledge Revan held. So you wouldn't recognize Revan if the two of you met? Is there any reason I should? Beside the fact Maybe. I did not know Revan in life, Revan was known for wearing a full helmet and cape. True. Perhaps Revan's body had been disfigured by the power of the Force. It is not unheard of. Regardless, I doubt I shall be meeting Revan any time soon. <laughs> Was that a little much? <laughs> okay. Um, you mentioned that Revan came here before. Both Revan and Malik came to Korriban when they discovered the tomb of Nagasado. That was before my time. Fair enough. Alrighty. Fair enough. And that's all questions I've already asked. Uh, tell me about yourself. About myself? I'm originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, mm. Omish the Hutt. 
I'm sure you don't need to know more. I don't know. I might want to know more. Omish the Hut. Interesting. I'll be going. You have had an excellent start. Go. Gain more prestige. Will do. Thank you for all that. And no, I can't take anything out of there. Damn it. Okay. Some of those screams. Make me worried. Kel Algwin. That's a oh, name. Uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Because I'm Kel new. Algwin. Is something wrong? I, oh, uh, nothing. Are you sure? Yes. My master always says I'm too trusting. Too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't, you know. I can't persuade you to tell me? Uh, no. No, I, I really can't. A, a Sith, like you, would use any means to succeed. Are you saying you're not a Sith? Well, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Well, how do you mean it, then? I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? Sure you can. I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now... I don't know. I just have so many doubts. Hmm. If it doesn't feel right, then perhaps you don't belong here. But where would I go, then? What would I do? Hmm. Have you thought about the Jedi? Uh, I, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Maybe I should seek it out. Give it a try. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, and we got light side points to boot for that. Hell yeah. Just can't take his stuff. Damn it. Sith Guard, hello. Don't mind me having just sent one of the students away to join the Jedi or anything like that. Ah, crap. Sith Sniper Rifle, Sith Assassin Pistol, Heavy Repeating Blaster. Well. And they'll just let me take that. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, that's Uthar Wind's room. Okay, well. That's a no for that one. I guess, really, what I need to do is find Dustal. Uh, Dustal Onassi! Hey, Karth, your kid's here. You take a wrong turn somewhere? Dustal, is that you? Oh, lovely. It's father. Yeah. I figured you'd show up after all this time. How did you manage to get inside the academy? Same way you did. Um, that's not what I'm going to say. <laughs> Through the front doors. Cute. I wonder yeah. how interested Master Utha would be to know just who he has in his whip. Unless you've switched sides, father. But I doubt that. Just why are you here, father? Not for me, I hope. Couldn't you have gotten yourself blown up on some ship and spared us this Whoa. reunion? Dustal, what, what are you talking about? I, I thought you were dead. Too bad you didn't still think that. Or did you really think I'd be happy to see you? Look, everyone, it's Father. Come to rescue me at long last. Sure, he may have left Mother and I to die on Telos, but that doesn't matter. No, I didn't abandon you. The task force just arrived too late. Telos was in ruins, and your mother... I, mean, I held her while... But I looked for you. I swear I looked everywhere. Ah, oh, save it. You abandoned us long before. We were alone all during the wars. And even once you came back, you still didn't stay. I didn't have a choice. I was needed at... Yeah? Well, you were needed at home, too. You were needed when the bombing started, and I got captured. You know what? It doesn't matter. Not anymore. I have a new family now. A family that cares about me. I don't need you. The Sith? You can't mean that. No, the Sith killed your mother. The Sith destroyed Telos. So? You're the soldier, father. How many mothers have you killed? No, you've been brainwashed. The son I knew would never... You never knew me. You weren't even there to know me, so don't presume to tell me what I would or wouldn't do. I don't know what's been done to you, but you are coming with me out of here now. Touch me, old man, and I'll kill you. Get out! Get out of here before I tell the Sith that you're here. Oh, wow. Gotta love being part of this whole family reunion. Sweet Jeebus. This ain't good for anyone. <laughs> ah, 
Calm down, Dustal. Karth is only trying to protect you. I don't need his protection. Not anymore. The Sith give me everything I need. You can't mean that. The Sith are... They're evil. They're the dark side. They, they took me away from you and your mother. They're, they're what took you from me. No, they are not evil. They're not. The dark side is superior. And you, you were at war long before they came along. The Sith war to conquer, to rule the helpless. I went to war for you, Dustal, for your freedom, your future. <laughs> I don't believe you. If I failed you, son, then it's, it's my failure. Please don't add to it by becoming part of something evil. Prove it. Prove that the Sith are so evil, and I'll... I'll think about it. Come with us, then, and we'll show you. I'm not gonna follow you around. Forget it. If you're caught, they'll just think I was betraying them. I'll stay right here. I won't tell anyone you're here. For now, you find some proof, and you bring it to me. If I hear you asking questions about me, or doing a single thing to jeopardize my position in the Sith, I swear I'll tell everyone what you're up to. You got that, Father? You prove what you're saying is true. I'm not going anywhere otherwise. I got it, Dustal. I'll be back. I swear it. Okay. Well. That is a tall order, I gotta admit. One I could probably do, but... It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. I remember you. Miko, right? That's right. You might as well just go home, you know. There can only be one Sith this year, and that's me. Mm-hmm. What makes you so sure? You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? It would be an improvement. <laughs> Damn. Uh, you can at least give me a hint. I could, but what would be the point in that? See you around, chump. No. Oh. You hanging around still? Yeah. Don't you have your own plans? Yeah. Not that they'll help you. I'm in for sure, you know. Well, you say that. What makes you, you so sure? I would tell you? Uh, it would be an improvement. <laughs> Funny. Say that after I'm a full Sith, and I'll ground your face into the dirt just for fun. Well, I mean, that's what you think. I don't know how true that'll end up being, but... Lashao. I remember Hello. you from the colony. Yeah. You seem all right. Mm -hmm. Though you'll not win the right to train before me. Oh, yeah? I challenge you to a duel. Damn. I don't know if that'll actually work. Uh, who are you? You don't remember? My name is Lasho. We met in the colony ever so briefly. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're trying to become Sith as well? Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> It just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. Oh. Uh, you talk big, but that's about it. And what do you have to brag about? You haven't earned any prestige at all. Well, not yet, but doesn't mean I don't have a plan to. Shardan. I remember you. You're all right. Trying for the Academy, I see. So are you, obviously. That's true. I had no idea you were coming for the Academy when I met you in the colony, though. Yeah. Who are you? The name's Chardin. Didn't I tell you that back in the colony? Maybe not. No, you did not. You want to coordinate strategy? I don't work or play well with others. Thanks for the offer, though. All right, fair enough. Well, with that in mind, and all of those plans, you know, not going anywhere else, Time to move forward, now that we know that Dustal needs some proof. See where we need to go with our stuff. Sith Guard. Oh, that just leads out to the Academy entrance. Fair enough. Where does this go? Ah. Uh, those are some noises. Dueling room. Oh. Okay. Well, the Sith duelist here did not do well. If you're here to use the dueling room, go ahead. I'm through with it. 
All the, the captive here need to be released. Oh, I can immediately go for that, huh? All of the captives here need to be released. Don't be foolish. If Uthar wants to send an order like that, he can bloody well tell me himself. Okay. If you're here to use the dueling room, go ahead. Okay. Uh, what kind of dueling are you talking about? This is where you get to hone your killing style. We get sent captives all the time to practice. That makes me better. That's barbaric. It'd be a waste just to execute. At least this way, they're useful. I challenge you to a duel. No, Maybe later. Oh, damn. Okay. No problem. Enjoy. I guess I'll enjoy. Sorry, I don't have time to speak. My that's... That's fucked up. Bruh. I guess we'll go over here to the interrogation room. Sith interrogator. Maybe you can do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. Really? If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. It's been maddening. Oh, I did something similar over at the Republic base. Uh, how do you drug him? Just activate the console. It gives you a variety of options for serum dosage. The right amount applied at the right rate should do it. The real oh. trick is that the only way to gauge your progress is to watch the prisoner closely for his reaction. Our scanners can't pick up his vitals. Hmm. You want me to try it? Certainly. Uh, just don't kill him or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned. Not executed. If you manage to get the location of his mm. cash out of him, I'll be sure to pass on the good word to Master Yutha. Interesting. That's an option. Ow. Would this end badly? No, it will not. I can just take what's mine. Cool. Alright. Oh, Jesus. There's a dead body right there. Okay, Sith victim is imprisoned and cannot respond. Use whatever method you wish, Sith. You will not break my will. My will is my own and I will tell you nothing. Can you speak Galactic Basic? I know your language, Sith, but I won't give you the satisfaction of speaking it. Okay. Do you know any way I could free you? You... You are trying to trick me! I do not believe you! Trust me, I'll help you if I can. If... If you speak the truth, then use the console to put me in a catatonic state. Your people will remove me, throw me away. I can survive for long periods in this state. I can escape then. Okay. How do you wish to use it? Um... Apply a serum to induce catatonic state. Th thank you. It is in it is in my ship. The cash. It is in a trap door hidden on my ship. Use it. I no longer need. I give it to you in exchange for my life, human. Okay. What have you done? I told you not to put the prisoner into shock, didn't I? Hey. Now, how are we supposed to find out where the weapon cache is? Yutha will be furious. Bah! Now I may as well take this fool and dump him somewhere. He's useless to us. I cannot believe you are so incompetent. Well, I mean... Worked out for the other guy, anyway. Not like I really needed that to advance. So, that's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Let's go over here. See what's going on in this direction. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, I see. Doing some training over here. Okay. Well, nothing else I can open in this direction. No. 
don't want to just open that. Oh, you fucked. Take that. Okay. And then this one will go towards the valley. The Valley of the Dark Lords, huh? Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm not sure I'm allowed down there, so I'm not going to try. So, the Sith Code. I think that was what I had to talk to Uthar about. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. I know. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. Oh, I intend on it. Uh, I know the code of the Sith. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Passion. Through passion, I gain... Strength. Through strength, I gain... Power. Through power, I gain... Victory. Through victory. Uh, I have one free. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Yeah, about that. Tell me then, true or false? It is our passion that fuels the Force. True. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. Mm -hmm. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. How else do I gain prestige? Oh, it is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds, or bring me a suitably valuable artifact from the Valley of the Dark Lords. Oh, oh. So it's a popularity contest, basically. I can Wonder. go. Really, however, you should seek out Euthura and get her advice. She is your trainer, after all, yes? Yeah, true. Hmm. I don't want to tell him that. I'll be taking it for myself. Um, where is this valley? There is an exit that leads to the surface of the planet. The valley is only a short trip from there. It is not difficult to find. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Very Get in well, my way. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. Yay! I've gotten a start in impressing a Sith Lord. Wahoo! Well, I mean, if I'm trying to be nice, it's not good. Tariga. Greetings, fellow students. Are you planning on going to the Valley of the Dark Lords? I'm heading there myself soon. Uh, what can you tell me about the valley? There are four tombs that have been uncovered so far, each holding the remains of a Sith Lord from a time long before, when the Sith were first on Korriban. We have found evidence that there were larger structures underground, a veritable ancient fortress, but it appears to have been destroyed. The tombs are all that remain intact. Currently, we are allowed access only to three. The one furthest to the left may only be entered by Master Uthar and those he brings with him. Fortunately, there is still much else for us to find. I am pleased that you have joined us. Fair enough. Anything I should watch out for? Yes, indeed. Shortly before entering the valley, you will pass by a cave entrance. Do not enter it. It is full of dangerous creatures we call Shirak. The only other danger is to speak of is the Tukata. They are... Whoa. Okay, I didn't expect that to go as quickly as it did. Uh, they are the guards that will protect you if you remain to the south part of the valley, however. There are guards, rather. Uh, what are these Tukata? Local beasts that hunt in packs and are not at all afraid of attacking students, or even armed patrols. They have proven to be a hindrance to our progress. Several attempts have been made to destroy their nests and the tombs, but their numbers have proven to be too great. Fair enough. I'll be going. I wish you well, fellow student. Alright, time to go to the Valley of the Dark Lords. Since now I know I can. Uh, wait a second. I recognize this area. 
And I know those caves, too. Shyrak Raptor. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, time for some combat. Okay. And do one of those. Okay. Well, technically worked out. Hey! And Karth got a level up. Nice. And no remains to pick from. That's fine. I guess. Time to level up Karth. Level him up how? Hmm. Yeah, let's go with dexterity. Why not? I don't see why not, anyway. Um, treat injury and awareness. Okay, cool. And feats. Hmm. He is very good with blaster pistols. I'll give him that. Okay, uh, let's go with implant three, then. Then I can equip him with cooler implants. Like these. Nice. Um, constitution plus four. That would be good. Immunity to poison. That'd also be good. But we're going to go with constitution plus four. You become big tanky boy. And let's see. Let's give him heavy armor because he can do that. Durasteel. Heavy armor. Not exactly the kind I was looking for. Um, Mandalorian battle armor. Not exactly what I wanted. Hmm. Hmm. No heavy armor that's really good for him. Well, crap. This is medium. What's he currently got on? That. I'm looking for something that will allow me... Well, I guess Davik's Warsuit is pretty good. Considering what I want to have out of it. Gino Haradin mesh armor here. That's also pretty good. Although not that good. Hmm. Yeah, I guess uh, Davik's suit's really the only good one for Karth. So, there we go. Good enough. Um, yeah, it should be fine. Now we're done here. That cave, though. I kind of want to go into that cave. Just because I'm told I don't want to go in it. Doesn't mean I don't want to go in it. I really want to go in it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go in it. I can handle what's in here. I can handle this. All right, we got. Oh, we got two different ways to go. That's good. All right. There we go. That's good. And we're doing good work. There we go. Beautiful. And no remains to pick through. That's fine. We will go down this way, though. Nah, I don't need to go that way. Unless they're coming to me. Nope, they are not. Okay. Oh. Yes. What? Damn. What? No one I have can deal with this. But I do need to sneeze. Okay, sneezing done. Now we move on. Um, we just move through here. Boom. Heal myself, and we're all good. Oh. Hold it right there, whoever you are. 
We're not going back to the academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. Wow. That bad, huh? Go back. What are you talking about? You mean you aren't here to kill us or bring us back? Nope. I find that hard to believe. The only oh, way yeah? into these caves is through the academy. You must be a Sith. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! I mean... Slow down and tell me what you're doing here. So you don't know about us? No. I don't know if I'm ready to believe that or not. But I'll play along for the moment. Okay, My name good. is Thalia May. Thalia the others May. here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We oh. thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Maybe I can help. Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? Give me a chance and I'll prove it to you. You want to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously, or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of large creature. We can't defeat it. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Okay. Can you do that? Oh, I can do that. I'll believe that when I see it. But if you could, we would be grateful. Well, there you go. I'm just going to pick this off of your compatriot here, considering he isn't going to be using it. Quite frankly, none of you are going to be using a lot of the stuff that's around here. And that's a flash mine. That's fine. At least it isn't, you know, damage. Flash mine is okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you for real? That was going to be damage no matter what I did. Damn it. All right, well. Through here we go. There's nothing over there, but there should be a lot of enemies in this direction. Probably. Oh, yeah, that's right. There were three paths to get to this place. Interesting. And there's nothing to loot there, but there is in the next game. So, I will go over here. See what we got going on this way. Ah, oh, Shyrax are over there. Cool. It's a big area, too. I wonder. Get right in here. Do a force wave. Eventually. There we go. Perfect. Much better. Okay. There we are. And we're good. Chewed corpse, uh oh. Plasma grenade and a Bothan droid disruptor. Interesting. This is probably another camp of students that uh didn't fare so well. Considering, you know, what went on. This is the main entrance that I took to get here. Then I took the right to meet the students, so that means this way. It's its own little way. Come on, let me do the... Okay, well, it's not letting me do the thing I want, but that's fine. And we'll get the worm here. Oh, well, that went better than I expected. And a raptor, okay. And down it goes. Cool. Now, let's make sure that I loot this area, if there's any loot to be had. A Sith corpse! Already. Sith energy shield and 450 credits. Nice. And then this was the path to go this way. Tukata. Interesting. I don't remember seeing that. Oh boy. Oh boy. They are all over the place. Dire Tukata. There we go. All right. And they're all down. Beautiful.
I'll take that victory. And then they all meet at this point here. Oh! You weren't here earlier. There we go. Do more damage a little bit. There we go. And we'll take this one out. Down they go. And we win. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, there was definitely no one here. There's the big evil creature they were talking about. The Tarantatek. No wonder they couldn't beat it. It's a Tarantatek. I'm going to kill them all anyway. Well, I mean, any weaker, you know, force sensitives. Yeah. Me, however, I'm revving, bish. You ain't gonna survive this for long. There we go. And uh oh, poison me, but it's fine. Oopsie doodle. I meant to do this. There we go. Oh boy. Just laid out a huge poison mist after I killed it. That's messed up. Alright, knocked it away a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. And Juhani got a level up. Nice. Good for her. Good. Cool. Let's get Juhani leveled up, huh? Wait a minute, what? Oh, okay. I saw that. I saw that symbol and I was like, wait a second. Does that mean she's highest light level possible? No, she's not. Not quite. Attributes. Mm, let's put it into... Intelligence. I don't see why not. She's pretty intelligent, you know. Alright, so, got a remaining force power. I've kitted her out for combat about as much as I can. So, might as well add one for healing. There we go. Now she's on par with me when it comes to healing. Anything over here? There's remains right there. Queldroma robes. Or Keldroma. Durin's journal. Interesting. And then there's the corpse here. Masasi ceremonial armor. Okay. Wanna see what that's like. First, let's look at that. Light armor, immunity to critical hits. Long-term domination by the Sith has erased the memory of the Masasi rituals for which this armor was designed, but it retains its effectiveness on the battlefield regardless. Well, that's good. Keldroma's robes. Wow, look at that. That's some pretty good defense and a dexterity bonus. Plus a wisdom of plus two and is restricted to the light side. The Force is strong in the Keldroma bloodline, and many of the family have joined the Jedi Order over the centuries. These robes were crafted, or rather created, as a gift for K. Keldroma during the war against Exar Kun, and it is said that only one who truly walks the path of light can wear them. K. himself wore the robes in his duel against Ulic Keldroma, his brother who had fallen to the dark side. K. was slain in the battle, but his death at his brother's hand eventually led to Ulic's redemption. These powerful robes then passed down to Durin Keldroma, K.'s cousin, when he joined the Jedi. But Durin disappeared shortly after the time of the Great Hunt, and the robes were lost with him. Well, found him. <laughs> All right. I guess... I guess I could give her them. I don't see why not. There you go. See? What? 
what? Now you're kitted out real good. And with that, and this side of the Shirek Caves dealt with, I probably should end the episode, especially since I'm like seven minutes over time already. But at the same time, I want to just continue looting. If there's any chance to loot, I must loot. So I guess I'll prep for the end of the episode for uh, after I walk in here. This cave leads to the exit. Okay. There's nothing for you to see there. Well, I mean, it says you. But, okay. Alrighty, we talk to the students and then we get them going. But that will be the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and... Well, trying to undermine the Sith as much as we can, and so far doing a pretty good job of it. Had a Mandalorian uh, captured person uh, <laughs> get uh, thrown out because, well, I mean, they thought I accidentally killed him. But instead he's in a catatonic state and he can escape that way. And I'm going to help these students escape because they don't want to be part of the super mass murdery killing things that the Sith do. Because that's what Sith do. And they realize now they don't want to be Sith, so might as well give them a chance to escape. For you!